All right, so we are outside crafting. Super nice day in Minnesota, spring day. There was just a little bit of a rainstorm, but we're out here crafting now that the sun has come out. So we're gonna be making some macaron uh, wall hangings. So I had this idea for taking a floral ring to be able to make this macaron. So you'll be along with me while I do this step by step. I started by cutting it in half because um, I want to get um, I want it to sit flat against the wall, um, but I also want to get like my own BOGO. So I'm making my own BOGO here. So I'm going to cut this one in half next. I've got this saw. You can see what happened. Um, so do it someplace um, that you can vacuum um, or clean up pretty easily. So circling back to uh, our making big macarons, uh, this is not a baking show, well we're making giant 8 inch macarons. So uh, we were cutting the uh, floral foam in half, so then I went ahead and uh, just kind of stretched some felt across this. I used some tacky glue on this side and then I did a pretty consistent staple to get a nice kind of tight stretch over that. And so to get some space between the macaron halves, um, I kept it pretty simple. I just made this little cardboard ring out of just kind of like a, this is actually just like a heavy cardstock actually. Um, this is about 16 inches uh, looped around. It's, it's really simple actually. It's just, you know, chunks of a box that I cut up. So what I'll do with the hot glue gun is, you know, just hot glue the heck out of that and then go ahead and put the the top bit on this isn't literally the one that i'm gonna do but just for reference you know just put glue this on and then glue the top half on with the hot glue gun and then stuff it with the the polyfill so that you get this effect because this one is finished, but then you get that nice kind of full fluff look. Sadie knows I'm a slut for macarons, especially when they are functional and fashionable. 